Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 156 of Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition. And uh, we are in the Mechanist Lair. And we're getting close, I believe we should be getting close to the end here. Open this. complex what's our weight carry weight right now 329 we're just we're just one pound below okay We're looking for anything like a magazine or things like that that we want to pick up, but anything, anything else we are not touching. Yep. Over here. complex I mean one guy doing all of this stuff and we're checking everything so just to be sure we did not mi we do not miss anything here although we can't carry any more stuff They're offloading another set of subjects to us today. I don't know what these men and women did to deserve being sent here, but since they were transferred from civilian penitentiaries, I can assume they're the worst society has to offer. I don't think these people have any idea what's about to happen to them. One thing's for sure, these prisoners would have been better off serving their time elsewhere. I'm starting to hear rumors about the block that I don't like. Esteban told me that he overheard two of the eggheads saying that the prisoners are having the brains cut out of their heads or something like that. I don't know that the brass is running experiments on these inmates and that they were pretty intense, but I didn't know they were literally cutting them open. I'm not sure how I feel about that after all. I've joined the military because I wanted to serve my country and protect my fellow Americans. I guess I'd keep it to myself for now. Jeez, Louise. So that's the source of the brains. The rumors floating around the block are getting worse. One of the informants said that the prisoners are talking about rioting. If the things that they are saying are true, that, in, that inmates are getting dissected and that the parts used for robots, I almost can't say that I can blame them. As Stephen said, we should go right to Gamma 9 status, but I don't want to push the panic button unless I absolutely have to. I've decided to take this all the way to the top and meet with General Rawlings. Criminals or not, these experiments are wrong and they need to be stopped before it's too late. Broderick got reassigned out of the facility today. I think they have him scrubbing toilets at some backwater listening post in Arcourage now. They put me in charge of the cell block and I initiated Gamma 9 status. 
After two days, the threat of rioting has ended and everything is back to normal. The brass gave me the go-ahead to start sending people to the medical section, and everything is proceeding as planned. If we have any hope of beating the enemy at their own game, we need to get these robots online. Who cares what happens to a few lousy inmates? I told Broderick he needed to fall in line, but he wouldn't listen. Of all people, I would have expected him to understand that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Augusta is still dark. Location enclosed. Exercise extreme caution. Okay, load. Look, Tessa. The orders come down straight from Captain Wes. Clint has the command here, and that's just how it is. If you keep running your mouth. No, 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 we want to object. What else do we have? Carl's log? Cruiser's hope. I don't know which tape is that. Anything interesting on the table? No. Wow. So this is the cell block there. Okay, so they're all ghouls now. Careful, ma'am. I don't think we're alone. No more hiding for you. Picking up something. Okay, uh, this guy has oven mitt. Ooh, relentless fat man. Oh. Of course, that will kill us though in terms of weight. Uh, what's the weight on the fat man? 30 pounds! Refills your action points on a critical hit. Now we are way overloaded. Okay, what can we give up? Uh, mining hat, yeah. I think mostly uh, junk items. Wow. Can't believe this. We have. Wow, 
we need to go to cheese. I hate giving up all this stuff. High powered magnet. Okay, we need to find something we can put those things in so that we do not lose them. That's a cell block. We're observation. So where are we supposed to go to? Apparently that way, right? Are there any, like, yeah, uh, place to put stuff in? Like these drawers. None of them work. Okay, here. Uh huh. Let's put the fat man. We'll let this fat man in there. Uh. Go pick it up, pick up the Okay, let's come back here and drop those stuff. Again, mostly the junk in the junk, I think. Okay, uh, again, inventory control. So do we...
So if we don't pick them up, they should still be here. This is a massive facility. Yeah, we can drink the water to heal ourselves. leave the stuff where we see them because there's the possibility that we might actually take over this facility and when we do brain extraction terminal wow oh, another background once again thanks to equipment failures we're getting pretty backed up in this department the brain extractors were never made to operate at this capacity I think they've been running around the clock for the last few weeks we usually end up with a pop blade from slicing through a particular tough skull or the hydraulics, hydraulics in the pulling arm seize up when the spinal cord isn't fully severed and the brain is pulled too early. I hope that Ciroletti doesn't yell at us again. This really isn't our fault. We all had a pretty good laugh around the extraction department today. Ansel tried mixing some fresh biogel with a little bit of grenadine and vodka and dared us all to drink it down. It turned out to be pretty good, kind of thick and sweet with just the right amount of kick. We came up with a little game to try and name the drink. A whole bunch of stupid ones came up, of course, but we finally settled on extractor sunrise. Too bad we can't share with the other departments, but the biogel costs like a thousand bucks a pint, and I don't think Shiroletti would appreciate us drinking down some of her budget. Wow, these guys. Okay, let's see. Let's just go to the last one. Womack over in sanitation made an offhand comment that his job having to grab all of left of our test subjects and dispose of them in the furnace felt wrong. Then not a day later, I was sharing lunch with some of the personnel from the assembly division and they asked me if pulling the brain from our test subjects' heads were ever, ever bothered me. I told them that it didn't. I'm not sure why some of the people on this project are having problems with what we're doing. Maybe they should look for work somewhere else. Wow, what a ghoul, man. What a ghoul. Okay. I'm very sure we're missing a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm trying to be thorough, but I'm pretty sure we're missing a lot of stuff. Like in the dark areas, we can't, we can barely see anything.
Okay, trying to be very careful here. Oh, Robo Brain. That one. Okay. Contamination detected in the extraction room. Please modify faci notify facilities and the chief medical officer view batch uh, security control door open Okay, let's check these guys over here. Sultron arm. A Sultron legs. That must be the foundry, huh? Yeah, uh, I thought we destroyed another targeting uh, equipment here. Save is code four. So we haven't died yet by being careful. <laughs> wow. Oh, these bodies uh, have not yet been, uh, a head has not been put on these bodies yet. So that's a series of, uh, Huh. Those are all robo brains waiting for brains to be uh, implanted on them. Okay, so our timer just went off, so this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye!